So today I'm going to be replacing the oil pump on a 362 chainsaw. Uh, this particular one, the needle cage went out and the customer kept running it. And the sprocket uh, was basically just completely eating away at that oil pump there. So I didn't show you that because it just came right off of my hands. I didn't have to take any tools to it to remove anything. So let's go ahead and dig in here. Um, what I'm doing is I took the two screws out and that's all that holds this oil pump in place. I already blew out the side of the chainsaw. I'm just going ahead and wiping down some of the oil that spilt when I took the oil pump out just to make sure that everything's nice and clean before I reinstall the new oil pump. So you can't really mess these up. The oil pump is only gonna fit in there one way and there's only two hole slots for the screws. So everything just fits into place really easy. So after your oil pump is installed, go ahead and put the worm gear in that just pushes right into place. And then there's a cover plate that goes over top of that. Uh, make sure that you notice which direction is top. It's actually written right on that plate that says top, which is gonna be facing outwards. So in order to reinstall your clutch, you're gonna to have to put a piston stop in. So I stick that in the back end after where the spark plug goes, and then I slightly pull up on the recoil just to pin that piston against the top of that so there's no wiggle room. So that way I can go ahead and use my wrench to tighten the clutch back on. Uh, keep in mind guys that these are reverse thread. So going forward clockwise is gonna be loosening it, going counterclockwise is gonna be tightening it. Next, I'm going to put on some multi-lube on the needle cage. Uh, just go ahead and put that liberally on there just enough to make sure that everything's lubricated. I just take my finger and go around it. Uh, when you do this, uh, you will notice that sometimes the sprocket's gonna fit a little bit tight on there, which is fine. Um, notice this little gap right there. Uh, that's gonna be for your worm gear that we just put on there. You have to line that hole with a little bar that goes out from your worm gear, and then go ahead and seat that on there and push down. So like I said, sometimes these sprockets fit on there tight with that new needle cage and then your grease on there. So I'll go ahead and install the rim sprocket and then I'll put the washer on there. Once that's set on there, I'll lightly take a socket, put it over top and just give it a few slight taps, which will seat everything into place. So the last thing to install is your E-clip. You'll notice I stick one end in the hole on the crank and the other end on the back side of the E-clip, pull them together, snap it into place, and you guys are all set.